Today, I'd like to speak about the pizzicato on the right hand. The pizzicato is the playing style using your right hand to play the bass. Like this. To begin with, please imagine that your right arm is completely like, free of tension. You don't, you don't want any tension on your right from your right shoulder to the fingertip. So please loosen it up before you start, right? Everything, okay? Yeah. And if you completely loosen it up, then it should form like natural the curve, right? It's not like straight like this, or not bent like this, but you know, the, all the joints are flexible, right? And you, you're gonna find out that your hand is like, should be like this, right? Because it's completely loose. Like, shouldn't be like this or this, you know, or this. None of these. Yeah. So, yeah, like loose like that. Yeah. So we're gonna use this form, the loose form. We're gonna use the index finger to play the bass today. In order to play the string, I want you to use this part. It is the the tip of the, the finger, but the flesh side, not you know, not the side but flesh, right? Not not the not the nail side. So you want to put the flesh of the index finger over here. I'm playing D string, the second from the top. This string, D string. So it is the left left side of the string that you want to play. I'm playing D string now. So I'm playing the index finger left side of the D string. Right here. When you when you do that, I want you to keep maintain that very loose form, right? Like this. And just place it over here. Yeah. And then just release. So the movement you do is that when you ride on the bicycle, you break like this, right? So I want you to do that motion. So all the fingers move together. Index to the pinky, those four fingers work. And thumb just stays there. Yeah. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the index finger again. D string, left side. And uh, my tip of the finger is touching the fingerboard. And then my flesh is, index finger flesh is touching the string, like this. And then do the break motion. Break. Oh, I mean, but the bicycle break. When you do that, please remain relaxed throughout the shoulder to the fingertip. All the joints are relaxed. Just put the finger on the string and the break. I also want you to have the natural curve, all the joints, here, 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 here. So you don't want to have something like this or this. Because this is like my joints are curved in a weird way and my el shoulders off right or this is example my my wrist is crooked in a weird way also the shoulders in a weird position so everything is natural like as if you're standing natural curve relax hand place it and then Bicycle break. Bicycle break. Let's try other strings. So I'm doing A string. Basically the same thing. How about E string? How about G string? So when you use the brake on the bicycle, you wouldn't go all the all of a sudden like this. What, what, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna crash because 
if you break all of a sudden, probably the bike is going to slip. So kind of similar um, concept that you want to use here. You don't want to suddenly break like this. Instead, you're going to break like this, right? So you're going to do the same thing here. Just, just like slowly, just close. And then you're going to produce sound. What you need to learn here is that you need to learn when the sound comes out. Of course, there's time lag. You know, you start the motion, and then you have you get the sound. There's a time lag, so you want to learn how long it takes for you to, to actually release the string, so that when you're playing in tempo. You can play with the beat. So each string has different tension, different resistance. So that time lag differs. So the G string is lighter, it's quicker. E string is heavier and it's very slow. So you need to learn how long each string takes to speak. Then you can play with the beat. So that's very important. For double bass, there's another kind of a pizzicato. When you are holding bow, you would go this way, using index finger, or on the thumb, like this way. I would speak about this uh, pizzicato with bow in your hand in a different video, because this is a different kind of technique. 